Are you hungry? Give me something, something good. Hi, and welcome to another episode of Görgöt. We've done a lot of Italian, kind of European food lately, but in this episode, we're cooking Chinese. We're gonna make an egg custard with some nice minced pork on top of it. But before we start looking at what we have here on the board, please click the subscribe button. You can also check the little bell icon and that will give you notifications once new episodes are online. Let's have a look at the board. We have our minced pork. I like the minced pork, so I use around 300 grams. I think it can be a lot of minced pork. Then we have three eggs. We have some spring garlic, but that's just to kind of decorate at the end. We have some um, neutral oil to fry in. We have some Chinese rice wine. We have some sesame oil and we have this fermented bean paste. Now the original recipe of this calls for something called sweet flour sauce, um, but it's not easy to find in Switzerland. And this works similar. But first what we'll do, we'll start the, the beef mix and then we'll go from there. We we'll start off with heating our pan with a bit of neutral oil in it. We have it on high heat. We just want to kind of color off our pork. So for our 300 grams of minced pork, we need two tablespoons of the rice wine and four teaspoons of the bean sauce. We'll mix this. Give it a taster, a pinch of salt. Now we can turn it off or like turn it down to one and just keep it warm while we do the custard. For the custard, the first thing we need to do is whisk our eggs together. This is about enough. You want a nice homogeneous mass. Now we need to measure how much eggs we have. So we're looking at 150 milliliters, pour it back in. And now we need liquid one and a half times as much. So half of 150 is 75, 150 plus 75 is 225. Now you can choose to either use water or use stock. I prepared a beef stock because I think it gives the custard a nice flavor. Um, I've warmed it up to somewhere between 70 and 80 degrees, it's standing there behind me with the thermometer. So we measure up 225 milliliters of that. We cleaned our measuring jar because otherwise you'll end up with some scrambled eggs in it. And there we have 225. Now we want to stir this in, not whisk it, just stir it. Making sure that it's all well mixed together. We need to add a tablespoon of rice wine to this. And again, a pinch of salt. And we stir this together. If you have a steaming basket, you can do it in a steaming basket. I don't have a steamer. So I put it in the steamer tray. And we're making three bowls. Try to distribute it evenly. Now the last thing you want to do is take some cling film and cover it all. Now these are ready to go into the steamer. We'll steam them uh, for five minutes at 100 degrees and then for another 10 minutes at around 80 degrees. And while a custard is steaming away, we can prepare the spring garlic for the topping and we just finally slice it up. We don't need more than that. It's just to kind of color, give some color to the dish. Now we just wait. Our custard is ready. You can see that it's hopefully a bit wobbly. I'll take one off. Since it's a little bit warm, we'll put a plate underneath. And it's a very easy dish to plate. You get your meat. I've reheated this with a bit of water just to, that it's not too dry. 
put your meat on top. This is where the oil comes in, just a little bit. Like that. And then a little bit of our spring garlic to top it off. Et voila. Now let's dig in. This is comfort food. It's Sunday today. We had quite a big brunch and this is all we're having for dinner. But it's perfect. It's a perfect Sunday kind of light dinner. It's not light in terms of that it's not, well, obviously eggy and custardy, but it's a small dinner, but it fills you up. It's heartwarming. It's a lot of nice tastes um, and it's quite easy to do. What I have to say though, when you make the custard, you have to see a bit um, concerning the timing. Sometimes it takes longer, sometimes not, sometimes shorter. I think this time I would say it was almost, instead of 15 minutes, it was almost 20 minutes. And you just have to shake it and see that it has the kind of right wobble. And if you're unsure, you can try with a spoon, but it shouldn't be necessary. But this is just so good. In, in China, as far as I'm aware, it's a breakfast. But for me, it's a perfect dinner. As always, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please do me a favor. Click the thumbs up, like the episode, and leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought. Let me know what you would like to see on the channel. And if you haven't done so yet, please click the subscribe button. But that's it for this time. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye.